Hey Clever Geocache Hiders, today we are going to build a birdhouse geocache that lowers the cache, pulls it right back up, all on its own. Let's go visit it and then we'll build it. You ready? Okay, sit. Sit. Yeah, whatever. for this build are a power drill with a Phillips bit, a regular drill bit just a little bit smaller than our screw diameter, and a one and a half inch drill bit for the birdhouse hole. A measuring tape, a pencil, a set of wire cutters, and a handsaw. If you have a power saw, that's going to be better. For this build, you're going to need three different pieces of wood a bottle of wood glue, three dozen or so screws, about 1.25 inches, a measuring tape, two feet of heavy wire, six inches of strap. You're gonna need a roll of duct tape or Gorilla tape, a pill container that we're gonna use for our cache, and a couple different colors of paint that we're gonna make into a camouflage pattern, and finally, a bicycle inner tube. All right, now let's build this. So step one of the build is gonna be attaching our geocache to our measuring tape, okay? So we're gonna have to put a wire on each side of this geocache. Just like that. Okay, same on the other side. just like that we're gonna line it up I went ahead and used a key ring instead of the wire for attaching to the measuring tape and this gives it a little extra play so that it doesn't get twisted and break the measuring tape over time so our mechanism is gonna lie inside of our birdhouse like so it's gonna be six inches wide by one foot long. So we're gonna go ahead and take that piece of wood and cut our four sides. We're gonna go ahead and measure our spacer. That's our two by four. About a four inch square, depending on the size of the measuring tape you chose. We're going to go ahead and affix that spacer to the back wall of the birdhouse.
grab that six inches of strapping tape, go right across the top of the measuring tape, make sure it's nice and straight. I went ahead and put an extra screw on the side just to prevent it from twisting. Step three, we're just gonna reattach the other walls. I used the wood glue on all sides except for the front because that's where I'm gonna need to access if I need to make any repairs or swap out the measuring tape at a later date. When you don't have a template, just use a roll of tape for the hole. So for the roof, we're gonna go ahead and measure that. I did an inch and a half extra on top of the space. So that was nine inches by 7.5 inches. And I put that piece on without glue, just in case I need to repair that at a future date. You can also put like Thompson's water seal on top of the roof. It'll help it last a little bit longer. So now we're going ahead and sketching out our three pieces for our loop we're gonna put on the back. They were roughly two bands, two inches wide, and then another band that was about six inches. And this is so we can have a loop on the back of the birdhouse so we could run that bicycle tube through it. Oh yeah, watch out for those uh, screws underneath. Huh. I forgot about the screw underneath twice. Yeah, right about there. That'll work. So there's our slot for the bicycle tube. Now it's time to put some paint on this guy. Pretty simple, two or three different colors of paint. Try to match the environment that you're planning on uh, placing this cache in. You want it to be as inconspicuous as possible. So I usually go with a black base with a couple other colors on top just to accent it. Make sure that entry hole for the birds is totally black so that it looks like that hole goes all the way to the inside. Get a nice even coat, whatever design you like. And there you have it, your very own birdhouse geocache. Please remember to subscribe and like Check out some of my other videos, and we'll see you next time on Clever Geocache Hides.